3-1 win over Fallon Sherrick. A high-pressure game out there, but you seem to build it well, didn't you? Yeah, also a really high-pressure game. Yes, it was. Some of your emotions then. How are you feeling right now? It's a big win for you, isn't it? Uh, I'm feeling good now. <laughs> it was a hard fight to uh, win against her. So, sum up the game then. How, how do you think it went? Obviously, she won the first set. The crowd were with her as well. But you seemed to rally, didn't you? And that 110 finish you hit was a special moment. Yeah, the 110 finish, I think, that was really good as well. And I was thinking, I've, I need a break for win a match. And I missed some match nights, and she missed. And I thought, come on, double five, you can do it. And then one night was middle in, and I was happy with that one. So the last 16 in mine has a win here. You've got Martin Schindler next. Yeah. Are you in good form at the moment? Uh, better than all year I played, I think. Um, to be honest, my year was not that good. Um, Everyone who follows me sees that lost a lot of first rounds of the Pro Tour and I was really happy with the last season on the, on the, in my net. And that, that means that my four will be, uh, will be back uh, soon. And what do you make of playing Martin Schindler next? A player I presume you know quite well. And also, you must be, you know, how, sorry, how are you going to prepare for that game? You've got a few days rest now. Um, Some day rest. Practice in the hotel, and hopefully uh, we'll have a good game as well. So I call it practice. I do have things, get some rest, and hopefully it will be a good game as well. Jermaine, congratulations! Thank you. On, on the result, is that the highest pressure match you've played in because of it is playing Fallon here? No, it's not my highest pressure match. Uh, I play, uh, you know, I play Luke Humphries here, I play Gary Anson here, I play Joe Cullen here. So it was not my high pressure match. On, uh, when the draw came out and you drew Fallon, what was your initial thoughts on the game? <laughs> I'll tell you what, uh, I got five matches to, uh, at once. No! And I thought, I, I have to play Luke Hitler. Luke, uh, Luke Hitler? Uh, Hitler yeah. yeah. And. Uh, they say, no, you'll play Fally Sherrock. say, it will be a difficult game because she's a good, really good player. And she took the first leg, or first set, sorry. And with a good average, I was thinking, you have to break her once to get, get a set back. So I did it, and was feeling, and after that moment, he started. <laughs> it was good. 2017-18 time, we saw the best of you Virgin on top 16 in the world, getting yeah. to the latter stages of a lot of TV tournaments. Mm -hmm. How close are you to that version of Jermaine Watamina again? Uh, it's not that close, but it will be coming. I feel um, that my level is, is better, better, better at the moment now. And I feel really great. Coming back to this World Championships, do you feel now the Fallon game has gone, you can concentrate on the tournament? Because obviously there's always a lot of hype around games where Fallon plays, now you've come through that, can you just get on with the tournament now? Sorry? Now that you, the Fallon game has gone, mm -hmm. can you just get on with the tournament? Because there's always a lot of hype yeah. around Fallon. Yeah, I, for me it's a match by match, so I'm, uh, Fallon is, is a really good player, to be honest. So uh, you have to carry on, um, keep going, keep your head up to the next game. And uh, I know it's Martin Schindler, and we will have a great game as well. Congratulations. Thank you. Jermaine, you played really well in Minehead. How much confidence did your performances there give you going into this tournament? I was, I was thinking last week for, uh, before uh, the draw coming, um, my confidence was really good. And I um, was thinking, if you play like that, you never lose the game. And I see, this, see the first set, that she was really playing well. And then after, I was... I was happy with with second and the third set. I want to ask you about the you know you've got on the, the back of your shirt tribute ah. to, to Toon Grieve. Yeah. How much did he did he mean to you? I'm sure you a lot, a lot, yes. Jermaine, um, it's been a few years since you've won on this stage now. Yes. Is, was that a relief when you got over the line that you can just put that behind you? Was that weighing on your mind headed into this match? Hmm. Yeah, it was. So now that you've put that behind you, when you go into the Martin Schindler game, can you almost just relax a little bit more knowing that 
you've now got away. Mm. I, I, don't, I don't have to, re yeah, I have to relax in my free time, but in the game I don't have to relax. I want, I want to uh, bite him as well, so <laughs> I want to win the game as well. You mentioned that it's been a tough 2023, but last 16 in my head, you're into the second round at least in the World Championship. Yeah. Have you got certain aims for 2024 to get back to your best? Yes, I have. Um, I feel it's going well at the moment. I uh, people see me playing the playing finals again on TV. How uh, the scoring was really good, and hopefully the scoring will be next year as well. That I can win even a pro tour. Have you done anything differently in the past few weeks to, to sort of kickstart this form? Little make a difference, but I can tell that here. <laughs> Thank you, Jimmy. Well Thank you.